Hey, good Sunday morning, everybody. It is absolutely beautiful. In fact, the moon is glistening off the waves here early this morning. It is absolutely beautiful as I get ready to set up for the MB. And there's a lot to talk about here in Southern California, Northern Baja, pelicans flying by. Let's get into it. You know what time it is. It's almost time for the MB. Good Sunday morning, everybody. It is beautiful here, and welcome to Southern California and Surfside California on this gorgeous Sunday morning. I hope it finds you and all your loved ones well, as we've got a lot to cover with you because we are back to some really exceptional weather here in Southern California. We had a pretty big blow there on Friday. Yesterday was a transition day, kind of getting back into some better weather. Some areas were still too breezy to fish. Other areas were okay, and some other areas were perfectly calm. Today, it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous spring day in SoCal, and we've got a lot to cover with you all. We'll go south of the border, see what that yellowtail bite in Ensenada is doing, cover some long-range fishing with you, boats that fish 16, 18 days out of San Diego. Where is that bluefin tuna? Any signal or sign yet? White sea bass, halibut. Man, there's been some awfully good signal on that, and of course, Rockfish abound here in the Southern California area. If you want to go out and catch colorful and really great eating rockfish, that has been the name of the game. And also the surf has been alive. For those of you who love to fish the surf, as do I, Michael Limone and Grandpa were here yesterday in Surfside, California. Dan Lightfoot, and uh, they came up with a pretty nice little catch that I'll tell you all about. You know what time it is. Good morning, my friends. It's time for the morning briefing. Mm. So good to be with you here on this lovely Sunday morning, and it is gorgeous. If you don't mind, hit that like button. We deeply appreciate it when you do that. Also, share these videos with a friend. Subscribe to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel, and also tick the bell. You'll be notified when there is new content. Don't forget, also, you can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Apple Podcast and Spotify. So good to be with you all. Hey, Ventura Sword Fishing has just announced a special deal all throughout the month of May on weekdays on their two local boats, the California and the Island Spirit. Buy a full adult ticket, and the next guy goes for half off that. Kick in that on Sundays, kids fish free 12 and under with a paid adult on board the Island Spirit. Man, Ventura Sword Fishing is the place to be. Ventura Sword Fishing with another great deal in May. Take advantage of it. Their rock fishing has been absolutely spectacular up there in that neck of the woods. Let's go south of the border. Our friend Foca was out looking for yellowtail in the Ensenada Bay area inside. So Ensenada, for those of you who don't know, is 70 miles down the from the border. So the border of Tijuana and uh, the United States, you go down 70 miles, beautiful drive, toll roads all the way down there. And I'll tell you, They've had some exceptional yellowtail fishing. They've had some warm water inside Bahia Ensenada, and that has kept that yellowtail in there. However, on the weekends, they do get boat pressure, even in Ensenada, and sometimes that will shove that bite down. So what happened to Foca yesterday. He came up with no yellowtail, just fished the bottom and stuff, had good bottom fishing, but the yellows evaded him. He's on his way out right now. I just talked to him a moment ago with his fingers crossed and high hopes that he'll come up with some yellow. Some other guys caught him yesterday, and had good yellowtail fishing, other guys completely missed. It was very hit and miss yesterday, and I would say overall it was down, not as good as it has been. Those yellows have been forcing bait to the surface, so you see the birds getting all over that. There's mixed with them some big bonita, and the best way to take those yellowtail in Ensenada has been the fiero, the iron. That's been the best way. Sometimes a surface iron, a light jig, sometimes a heavier yo-yo iron. And according to Foca, he likes that 
scrambled egg color by Blue and White has been very effective, and the mint color jigs have been really good. Taddy 45s, what a great jig if you're going to throw a surface iron on those yellows down there to throw at them. They've got nice weather. Hopefully, uh, a lot of guys will be uh, taking their families to La Misa this morning. They're going to Mass, and uh, those other guys can get on that fish early and go to late Mass here later today. So we'll keep you in touch with that bite down there. The long-range scene, the XL is down there on Hurricane Bank and starting to catch some yellowfin tuna at Wahoo. I don't have an up-to-date report. I haven't heard from them here this morning, so I'll hold off. And if I have anything in post-production, I'll put it down there in text for you all. On their way down, they found some nice yellowfin tuna, a lot of that stuff over 50 pounds and some 15 to 25-pound yellowtail. So their ride down, that's a thousand mile ride. It's a long ride to get down there, you know, over four days. Um, they found some good fishing down there about halfway down the Baja Peninsula, 500 miles down the Baja Peninsula. And now they should be settling in to Hurricane. Last trip down there was the Royal Polaris and it's stupendous fishing. 15 yellowfin tuna over 200 pounds. A standout fish for Daryl on board, uh, Daryl Shelbourne on board the Royal Polaris. It went 358. And Joe caught another one that weighed 258, I think, that he caught in six minutes by fishing 70 pounds of drag. The guy is superhuman. Good morning, Daryl. Hope you are doing really great. So long range clicking around really, really well. Hey, it's still tax season. I know some of you have unfiled taxes, didn't get it taken care of. Tim Marquez is your man. Give Tim a call this morning. Wake him up. Tell him, hey, I got tax problems. Phil Freeman said, you'd settle them for me. And if you have heating and or air conditioning needs, want to call John Lopez over there at Efficient Heating and Air Conditioning. Super great guy. And he will put you at the top of the list and take really great care of you. So let's get into our bluefin tuna situation. Pretty much non-existent. I've got to tell you that um, we're not pushing the panic button here by any stretch of the imagination. It's been about a month now since we've had any significant catches of bluefin tuna. I think for this month, we have somewhere around 50 fish. Now, John Collins, JC, super great guy, and he laid out on an Excel spreadsheet the last four years, I think it was, and this year so far, two things that are standing out for this month. Less bluefin tuna, but way less boats out. Way less. Like last year, there were three to four times as many boats out. So John asked the rhetorical question, and I'll ask it to you also, is it a lack of bluefin tuna? Is it a lack of coverage? Steve Taft over there on the legend asked the question, is it just the weather, the windy weather that has pushed it down? And in some of those months, we had very poor fishing as you look back in the history during the month of April. And then it was wide open in the month of May. So, hey, we still got a good chance to make this happen. A, a huge chance. I mean, so don't push any panic buttons. We'll continue to monitor this for you very, very closely. But nobody's found anything here recently. Nobody's seen much at all. There's been a couple of fish here and there. American Angler had a bluefin tin a couple days ago. But there really has not been all that much. So we'll continue to watch that for you very, very closely. Let's jump on this side of the border. Let's talk white sea bass. Because up in the Channel Islands, that has been the zone where the WSBs have been really biting well. We've seen it in Santa Barbara in the Endeavor with Tucker McCombs. Tucker's been on a mission. In fact, he ran off three days in a row of limits of white sea bass up there. But then we had the breezy weather. Yesterday was that day, day of transition. Today, I'm thinking one of those boys up there is going to come up with a score, whether it's Santa Barbara or Tucker out of Ventura Sport Fishing or somebody there like the Aloha Spirit out of Cisco's and Oxnard. We'll be watching that very, very closely for you all. It has been a dropper loop rig that has been the most effective way to take those fish. Fluorocarbon is a must. You want to be fishing fluorocarbon for sure. And anywhere from 6 ounce to 12 ounce torpedo sinkers depends on depth, wind, current, all of that stuff. You want to have 6 ounce to 16 ounce because of the rock fishing up there. Sometimes you're do dropping deep, sometimes not so deep. But that has been really great up there. Now, I, so I pointed out to you, took a step backwards because of the wind and weather. We'll see where we go from here. And hopefully that's going to bite. And there's been great halibut scores up there also. Private boaters have done fantastic up there in the Channel Islands. And sport boats have been getting in on some great halibut fishing. Santa Barbara, uh, down there to Ventura, they've had great fishing. Also, we see 
really great fishing sometimes here in the San Pedro area. The Pride had 10 halibut on their last trip. You see some of the guys at Catalina Island also, which I'll get into in a moment, catching a few halibut from time to time. So it has been pretty darn good. Now we're getting back to good weather. We'll see if that's all going to return. Best to fish those halibut also with a dropper loop rig. I'm telling you, that is such a fantastic, easy way to catch those fish when you're fishing bait. And also those white fluke tails work really well on the halibut and the sea bass for that matter. So we'll keep our eyes on that one for you very, very closely here today. It should be a really interesting day. All right, uh, rockfish here in SoCal, the El Patron yesterday, fishing Catalina Island. And they were out there with a great shot of rockfish up there with about 10 per rod, maybe a little bit better than that, a mix of sheep's head and whitefish. And then out there in the deeper water, catching some bigger fish. Alex, great guy, Friedman Adventures family member. Alex, you are the man, was on board the Sport King yesterday. And he said, while conditions were not perfect, they got the job done. They had limits on the reds, vermilion rockfish, which is two per rod. And they ended up with a similar catch to the El Patron. And they also went in on the kelp line and fly line to bait and caught a couple of calico bass on a fly line bait, which is a really good sign for our springtime bite. We just need that water temp to tick up a little bit more, get rid of the wind, like have a beautiful day like here today. And look out, we're going to have some springtime calico bass fishing, maybe some more barracuda. Who knows what else is going to move in here? So really appreciate that. And we saw great rock fishing up and down the Southern California coast from Ensenada all the way up to Avila Beach and Morro Bay. It has been really fantastic. Redondo special yesterday with some really great fishing, no question about it. We also saw great fishing there out of Dana Worf Sport Fishing. And I hesitate to mention landings because just about everybody gets them. And on a day like this, you're going to see some really great rockfish scores. And now that depth is not an issue, you can drop as deep as you want or the guys can fish as deep as they want. That's why you want to have that 16 ounce torpedo sinker, but that's also why you're seeing lings and big Picasso and just really big quality rockfish in Southern California. Such a great time for you to get out on the water. No question about it. So we've got that good rock fishing going on. Hey, some good nighttime twilight fishing for our friend Earl the Pearl. Mick Vicker, check him out with John Flood on the new Del Mar. Thanks for the report, guys, and way to go. Nice big sand bass, some calico bass to go along with it. So that is a great sign coming off that wind and then right into some great nighttime fishing. We just need the daytime bass to bite. And again, that's just a function of getting our water temperature up a little bit more and getting out of these windy conditions. We'll see how that all plays out here in the very near future. Don't forget Big Fish Bait and Tackle on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They've got all the bait you need to be successful in the surf, all the tackle you need. Not only surf fishing tackle, but they've got big game tackle also. And they've got a monthly tournament. We'll see who wins the biggest Corvina for this month of April. And then May, there'll be a brand new tournament. They're free to enter and they're giving away a beautiful, gorgeous, custom surf fishing rod every single month. Michael Limon was here with uh, Grandpa. They had a nice guitar fish yesterday. Those things pull hard. They are historic, prehistoric actually, looking creatures. They've been on the face of the earth for millions of years. And Michael Limon says, you know, they've almost been on the face of the earth as long as my grandpa, Dan Lightfoot. Now, Michael, I think guy grandpa's been here much longer. Just look at him. Anyway, uh, good times here at Surfside. This is even a better morning to be fishing because there is just no wind at all. And these birds and, you know, here comes the Pelican Patrol just right on cue. There has been a lot of life here this morning. I've seen birds picking bait out of the water and that is always a good sign you see the birds in fact if you're throwing a little chrome jig uh promar makes some really great little chrome surfacing jigs i'm gonna start fishing some of those here very very soon but uh you see birds man you want to get your track shoes on and get down to where those birds are here those little white turns maybe you can maybe you can't you want to throw right where they're at you see a bird dip there's some fish there there's been some yellowfin croaker some halibut there's been corbina which you will see more of Really nice surf fishing going on. Fishing two hours before the high tide until two hours 
after the high tide is a really great way to make things happen for each one of you. Don't forget, you can get your Freeman Adventures merchandise. Yeah, get your merch here today, a hat or a shirt. It really helps us here on the channel. We deeply appreciate that. And you could join us for a Freeman Adventures fishing trip. You're invited. I'd love to spend a couple days with you on board the Apollo out of 22nd Street Landing or on one of our local trips where we have a little bit of room left on our May 9th and May 23rd trip on the El Patron. And then May the 31st, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. up there on the Island Sphere. That is going to be an absolute blast. I can't wait for that one. All right, my friends, what can I tell you? It's a gorgeous Sunday morning. I can't thank you enough for spending time with us here at Friedman Adventures. I'll be covering any breaking news we have on Bluefin Tuna or the White Sea Bass, which I think is a real possibility here today to see another sea bass score. Come on, Tucker. You probably already have done it. I'll be putting it in text on the morning briefing. In the meantime, have a great Sunday with family and loved ones. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.